Hi, I'm Ben Mankiewicz. Welcome to Turner Classic Movies. As we continue our evening of films about train robberies, we have a Western starring Alan Ladd up next. In 1953, Ladd starred in director George Stevens' epic Western, Shane. That's well-known movie history. Less well-known is that five years earlier, Alan Ladd appeared in the movie we're about to see, playing a similar role, a part that quite possibly earned Ladd the title role in Shane. From Paramount in 1948, it's Whispering Smith. Ladd plays the title character, a soft-talking railroad detective in the Old West who goes up against a gang of train robbers and runs into an old flame. Just five feet, six inches tall, he may actually have been a little taller, but the Alan Ladd was short story permeates his biography. No matter what, Ladd was clearly told often he didn't have what it took to be a movie star. Those who told him that were wrong. He got by working in radio and landing small roles in movies. Then, in 1942, everything changed. Ladd landed the part of a killer in the film noir thriller This Gun for Hire. And suddenly, after 10 years in Hollywood, Alan Ladd was a star. With the money he made, Ladd bought a ranch, learned how to ride a horse, and a few years later, found himself cast in this western. Starring with Ladd are Robert Preston in what is considered to be one of his best performances, and Brenda Marshall returning to the screen after a two-year break to have a son with her husband, William Holden. From Paramount in 1948, here is the toughest cowboy under 5'9 there ever was, Alan Ladd in Whispering Smith. 